Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going through the best way to farm spirit orbs in Forager. So if you're running around the map trying to collect fairies in order to craft spirit orbs in the spirit forge, please just stop right now because there's a much more efficient way of doing this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to unlock the sigil maker, which is accessed through the summoning skill. If we head over to our sigil maker now, as you can see here, there's four different ones we're able to craft. There's the slime, skull, beet, as well as toxic sigil. Now each of these sigils is going to require different resources in order to craft them. So if you look at the slime sigil, it's going to require electronics, jelly, as well as star fragments. Now if we look at the skull sigil, that's going to require void steel, bone, and star fragments. Beat is cosmic steel, beat, star fragment, and then toxic sigil. That's going to require uranium and star fragments. So the two sigils that I'd highly suggest focusing on are the slime sigil as well as the toxic sigil. Just because the resources you need to obtain both of these are very easy to acquire rather than the skull as well as the beat. The toxic sigil is going to be the most beneficial for this farming method. However, we're going to need the nuclear sword before this actually shows any benefit. With the nuclear sword, slain enemies may drop toxic sludge or uranium. So this will be really easy to actually start farming a lot of those toxic sigils. If you don't have the nuclear sword yet, that's okay. We're going to start farming using these slime sigils in the meantime. So what I would highly recommend is using all your furnaces you have on crafting royal steel. Seeing as royal steel is the only difficult resource we're going to need to actually craft the electronics, we want to make sure we never run out. You also won't have to worry about running out of any of these gems because every single time we kill the Slime King on the island surrounded by the lighthouses, we're going to obtain a lot of gems, so you don't need to worry about that. So with this account, I've only used 5 Spirit Orbs on damage. So let's go ahead and test this out. As you can see here, I'm really not doing a whole lot of damage, but the Slime King's incredibly easy to defeat. The Slime King will also spawn jelly around you, making it impossible to run out when crafting the Slime Sigil. When you defeat the Slime King, as you'll see here, four small boxes will drop, each box containing a Spirit Orb. And like I was mentioning before, it's impossible to run out of those gems. So the easiest way to obtain star fragments for the sigils is head on over to your inscription table and look for the star scroll. This is going to automatically spawn star falls, so it's going to make it a lot easier to obtain a lot of those star fragments. Now all you'll need to do is use the star scroll on the island surrounded by all your lighthouses. And as you can see there, we do get a lot. Make sure that every time you do defeat the Slime King or any other boss that you do use the Spirit Orbs on damage right away. This will make it a lot easier for you to actually defeat the bosses and speeding up the process. After you've started using more and more Spirit Orbs on damage, you can start actually spawning a lot more bosses at the same time. So as you can see here, I think I just defeated 7 Slime Kings in less than 7 seconds. Which is why I'd also suggest having a droid, because as you can see here, they will open all those chests for you, making it go a lot faster. Once you get the resources needed for the nuclear sword, make sure to craft it right away, because it's going to make it a lot easier for us to start farming a lot of those spirit orbs. So now that we have the nuclear sword, slain enemies will drop uranium as well as toxic sludge. Seeing as the Toxic Sigil only requires Uranium and Star Fragments, we want to try and gather as much Uranium as we possibly can. So what you want to do is you want to use your Necro Rod with Unlimited Charge to start spawning a lot of Skeletons, and then switch over to your Nuclear Sword and go ahead and kill all of them. If you go ahead and just keep repeating this cycle, you'll gather a lot of Uranium really quickly. So from here, you can basically just keep repeating the steps as shown in the video to start crafting a lot of those sigils in order to gain a lot of spirit orbs. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more content just like this one.